Hi everyone. During today's coffee, I would like to talk about Oracle Database Services, the services that are used to connect to an Oracle database, and why they are uh, important, uh, why they are useful. So when you don't have services with other uh, databases, um, it's like going to the doctor and uh, knocking at the doctor's office door and hoping that the doctor is there. And if the doctor is not there, you might have a list of addresses that you want to try. And uh, you will try them all until you find the doctor you're looking for. And, um, you know, at some point you will uh, end up finding the service that you're looking for. But for an Oracle database, um, it's more like uh, an hospital reception. When you go there, you have the same uh, entry point and you look for a specialist. And the receptionist can redirect properly to the correct service, uh, to the pro proper doctor, uh, giving a specific service, for example, uh, pediatry, cardiology, um, you know, endocrinology, or uh, internal medicine, whatever. Um, so Oracle is more similar to those hospital uh, receptions. Uh, you have the listener, you contact the listener, and you ask for the service, the database service you're looking for, and you get redirected. Um, so why it is important uh, to have a service because after all what you're looking for is just a database connection you're what do you bother with the service there are several reasons why the service is important uh, the first one is the separation of duties because you might have different applications connecting to the same database uh, you might have different modules of the application using different portions of uh, schemas and having different priorities the second point is redirection um, because you might have several instances, especially when you start scaling uh, up your database uh, or scaling out your database, you might have several instances servicing the same application. Um, so instead of providing different addresses, uh, you can just have a single entry point and uh, being redirected to the instance that serves the service they're looking for. Another point is performance, uh, because you can use the resource manager to give different priorities to the different services, uh, different priorities consuming more or less CPUs, uh, more or less cycles, um, so you can guarantee the highest quality of service for your most critical services that in a hospital might be the urgencies, um, in a database might be your critical OLTP system. Then they are useful for observability, because in the Oracle database we collect several metrics, performance metric, weight events, um, that, you can, that we aggregate per service, so you can use the automatic workload repository reports to understand which services are consuming more or less resources. So you can uh, analyze, you can troubleshoot your performance problem more easily and also you can use them for uh, chargeback, for example, if you want to charge your internal customer depending on how, my, how many resources they use in a database. Another reason is, um, is uh, security. So if you have different services, you can use a connection manager or database firewall or you can use local triggers to filter your connection so that only specific users and specific uh, IP addresses um, can connect to a specific service. So this is also important for, uh, for security. Um, and then we have the point of scalability. Uh, because as I said, you might have several instances um, and you can dynamically scale out your service by adding more instances, for example, in a real application cluster database. But also if you are uh, working in a distributed environment using a Golden Gate um, or uh, Oracle sharding, for example, or if you're scaling out your read using a physical uh, uh, read-only physical standby databases. And the last point is availability because you can configure different services with different uh, availability parameters. For example, you might want some services to automatically reconnect your session and replay the transaction. And uh, for other services, maybe you don't want it because um, you don't want to make critical and non-critical workload coexist, so you don't want to replay uh, the non-critical workloads on a critical database. So there are several reasons and I hope uh, I've convinced you that, that um, it's worth using services and using different services for your different uh, applications or models. Cheers.